Hey everybody, this video I'm going to be upgrading this Gateway NV55S38U laptop from a hard drive to a solid state drive. So the computer in its original form has 2 gigabytes of DDR3 memory, has a 750 gigabyte hard drive, and has the AMD A6 3420M quad core processor this is a computer I'm going to be refurbishing and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the hard disk out and install a solid state drive that way I can of course that way the system will be a whole lot faster than the old 5400 RPM hard drive so what we got to do is we gotta get into here to access the hard drive. So, okay. So first thing you do is remove the battery. Since this one has an external battery, we can easily take it out. And there's the battery. Set to the side. Now we just need to. Take this cover off right here. Okay, so our hard drive is right there. Good, and now let's just make sure there's nothing plugged in. It looks like it's free to go. I have to give a little bit of help here. First time it's ever been taken out. So there's the original hard drive. Um, now, if you're wanting to keep your data in your operating system, <clears throat> you would want to um, first do a disk clone, which I don't currently have a video up at the moment. Um, of course, there's plenty of tutorials out there, and one of these days I'll do one myself, and once that is up, I'll have to card it in this video but for now since we're not concerned about what's on this hard drive we're just pulling it out and we're going to replace it with a solid state disk so we're only going with a 240 gigabyte ssd since i that's why i currently stock right now um, for a lot of simple uses 240 gigs is all you really need And you can also get these for dirt cheap. Uh, these solid state drives, it's, it's not like it used to be. It's not like um, the old days when they were super expensive to buy. I mean, you can get these things for crazy cheap now. So this laptop is actually from 2012. I thought it was a little older than that, but uh, anyway. This is our solid state drive. It's a two and a half inch solid state drive. What we got to do is we got to take the hard drive out of its mounting cage. And what you can do is you can set your new drive in the same orientation as the drive you're replacing. That way you can kind of get an idea of how everything needs to get transferred over. transfer this over to the solid state drive get our screws lined up so the SSD is actually a tad thinner than the original hard drive but that's no big deal
Okay, so now we just need to install the new drive. Like so. Just like that. And we just need to pop this plastic back into place. Let's go ahead and reinsert the screws. Reinstall the battery. And now we're good to go. So now you will need to do is uh, either go ahead and start it up. If you've uh, copied over your files from the old drive to the new drive, everything should work just fine. But if you are if you did not copy anything over, you would need to go ahead and start a clean install of Windows. And generally that would mean loading Windows 10 or Windows 11 onto a USB flash drive. And starting installation from the flash drive and since there's nothing on the SSD you should not have to worry about going in and selecting the proper boot device because it should automatically just pick it right up so that being said that's how you can swap out the hard drive to a solid state drive in this particular machine so anyways hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Kukur channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Kukur Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and your support.